There's a video of me circulating. It's a fake ad. A uh, skincare company, Eve Loria Skincare, took clips of various videos and cloned my voice, used AI to alter the message, change what I said to promote their turmeric pads. Help tighten up the skin on the neck, help with collagen production. No, turmeric is a great antioxidant, but does not help with collagen production. Stick with evidence-based medicine. Because of all that, I'm just gonna be wearing hoodies and casual clothes when I do my videos on my days off. If they're gonna use this, this is what you have. This is a board certified dermatologist. So I'm a medical surgical cosmetic dermatologist. My day off. Let's shop some Costco skincare. Let's talk about what actually matters. Stick to the evidence. There's so much bad information, pollution out there, and people are overhyping things like niacinamide serums. They're even overhyping azelaic acid, which yes, has evidence behind it to help calm redness, help with deep clogging, congested pores. It's not going to be the cure of your melasma. It does have properties to lighten dark spots, but it's not a big player. So let's talk about ingredients that I like, products that I recommend. Let's keep it affordable, of course. Sorry I'm a little bit more serious today, but I take these things seriously. I mean, you guys have put a lot of trust into my brand, my voice, my recommendations, my education, and people are now going to take my voice, my likeness, and alter the message to scam people, scam my friends out there. You guys are all my friends. You guys are my family. For the last five years I've been on this channel. So this, I take this personally. So you know what? I'm just going to be more cash. Don't have to be in my scrubs in my, or in my office. Just come along with me. Let's go do this video. As physicians, we're all about evidence-based medicine and recommendations. And so this video will really hone in on evidence-based ingredients you should be looking for in your products. First off, stay away from niacinamide serums with 10% niacinamide. That's way too much of a good thing. I prefer this great ingredient, this vitamin B3 analog niacinamide to be in my cleansers, my moisturizers, and my retinols. Cetaphil does a great job by incorporating niacinamide, panthenol, and glycerin into their products. Niacinamide helps soothe the skin, is anti-inflammatory, and will help regulate sebum production. Panthenol is both hydrating and moisturizing, and glycerin is a great hydrator. This is an awesome lightweight moisturizer by Neutrogena. It's my wife's favorite moisturizer, hands down. And because you have all this hyaluronic acid, you're going to plump the skin up, and it's an easy way to hide fine lines and wrinkles. Moving on to one of my favorite ingredients, vitamin C serums and retinol. Starting off with vitamin C, it's a powerful antioxidant that will neutralize free radical damage from UV radiation and pollution. In the morning, apply a few drops of this vitamin C serum to your face and neck before your sunscreen. I like this vitamin C serum because it has an ethylated vitamin C derivative that is stable, and this does not oxidize easily. Vitamin C serums, when used consistently, could help with dark spots, glow up your skin, but also help reverse photo aging. This has been proven in studies as well as retinol. Retinols are amazing, so let's talk about that next. Retinols belong in the retinoid family and they're vitamin A derivatives. This is found over the counter, whereas tretinoin is prescription strength, but it can be more irritating than retinol. Retinol has to be converted twice before it can go into the cell specifically into the nucleus bind to receptors and thus induce gene transcription. And once gene transcription happens, we get the magical benefits where it works on fine lines and wrinkles through collagen production, help with dark spots by increasing cell turnover, and it will also keep your pores at a minimal size. So as you can see, Olay was a great example. It had niacinamide as well and peptides. This was Rock's serum, which I've been using for many years. And although I recommend Rock and Olay, I would not use both in the same night. So never double up on your retinol game. Just choose one and stick with it because it takes four to six months of use, consistent use before you see improvement in hyperpigmentation and six plus months before you see improvement in fine lines or wrinkles. And yes, this is all evidence-based guys. Now moving on to an important body moisturizer for those with dry skin, Aveeno's Daily Body Moisturizing Lotion utilizes oat technology. Yes, oats. Oats actually has evidence behind it showing that it's anti-inflammatory and very soothing and helps repair the skin barrier. And people talk about taking oatmeal baths when they're covered with eczema. Yes, just like diluted bleach baths, Oatmeal baths can be quite helpful in bringing down the inflammation and is quite soothing for those with eczema. If you got rough and bumpy skin, keratosis pilaris, or people call strawberry skin, consider a moisturizer with lactic acid. Lactic acid is a type of AHA or alpha hydroxy acid. It works by gently exfoliating the skin. And when you have keratosis pilaris, the backs of your arms and thighs 
have these keratin plugs and the hair follicles. And what lactic acid does, it helps exfoliate that keratin plug and thus leave you with smooth, softer skin. Something that's totally overhyped is double cleansing. You don't need a double cleanse every day. I would say stick to a great cleanser that will remove your makeup, your sunscreen well, and just stick to that once a day. Double cleansing is only for a heavy amount of makeup. Double cleansing means you use an oil-based cleanser or micellar water followed by a water-based cleanser. Totally unnecessary in most cases. Next up, let's talk about biotin. What's the evidence behind biotin? Biotin in smaller doses like 2,500 micrograms may help with brittle nails, but in higher doses, there's little evidence to show that it helps with hair loss. The evidence behind collagen peptides being ingested to help with fine lines and wrinkles and skin health is quite mixed. Now, when looking specifically at Verisol bioactive collagen peptides in studies, I found that hydration is improved and that in small studies with a modest subject size, you may see improvement in elasticity and wrinkles around the eyes. And there's a recent in vitro study that shows that it may help stimulate fibroblasts to make more extracellular matrix components and thus lead to better elasticity and less wrinkles. The data is compelling right now, but we need larger studies to prove this definitively. Yikes, seeing turmeric is quite triggering for me at the moment after seeing the turmeric pad scam that used my face in their AI generated ad. Turmeric may have anti-inflammatory properties, but it will not do much to your skin topically. I prefer vitamin C serums to be your antioxidant of choice. Minoxidil is traditionally a blood pressure medicine, but we found that it helps with hair regrowth. It increases blood circulation to your scalp and promotes your hairs to be in the antigen growth phase in the hair cycle. And that's the name of the game is to increase the amount of time your hair cycle will be in the antigen growth phase and spend less time in the sleepy telogen resting phase, which happens many times when you have genetics or hormonal based hair loss where your hair follicles will miniaturize and go into the sleepy telogen phase. And for women who are not pregnant, yes, you can use minoxidil. And you can use it at the higher concentration of 5%. I prefer minoxidil as a foam over solution because it's less irritating to the scalp. Be careful when using this product around pets because it's toxic to cats and dogs. And be sure not to quit this too soon because it can take six, nine months of daily use before you see improvement. Thanks for shopping with me. Sorry, I started off the video a bit serious, but I take these things seriously. You know, AI is ruining social media and cloning voices and using my likeness and such. I love that YouTube has verified badges for licensed doctors in the US. You can see that down below. I had to apply for this. I had to send in my medical license, my MPI number and such, and apply for this. I was one of the first to get this badge. And the other platforms, Instagram and TikTok, definitely need this because we have so much misinformation and we have people pretending that they're doctors and giving this information, so it's very confusing. So stick with the evidence, don't go for the overhyped things, and I love that Costco is doing a great job with their skincare. Please hit the subscribe button, please share with your friends who are in the skincare, and hit that bell notification for long form videos every Saturday. Thank you guys for joining me every Saturday for these fun long form videos. Take care and peace.